great place to What club is this? It's called MagnaFlow. Everything looks good there. So straight pipe is 13 miles an hour, and then pipe, 13. And then what? What is it without? 14. 14. And a half. So you have to have that back pressure. Good morning, guys. Welcome to Mitri Lake. Me and Joey here have been testing out our boats, trying out different setups and uh, just running them, getting hours into them. Last week we did a 26 mile run up the Southern uh, Colorado River. And uh, the only issues I felt I had with my motor was that it was getting pretty hot once we were going on long stretches. Uh, I did have a seven and a half inch prop, which could have been pushing it, but I was trying to get that top end speed and just, you know, try out the motor. Um, I barely have about three hours on the motor and I just finished uh, or completed the uh, first breaking oil change. And you could see, uh, small speckles but nothing big that was concerning just what you expect on a breaking oil change uh, so from that uh, run that we did last week I wanted to try something different on today's run um, what I did was uh, unbolt the, the stock manifold so with it unbolted uh, it does fit reverse because it does have a 45 degree kick out so once installed it almost sticks out at a horizontal angle rather than a vertical angle like it did before. And what I'm trying to achieve is having the exhaust and the muffler heat be away from the engine and the cylinder head, uh, not having that residual heat around it. It'll also keep the intake and the fuel tank away from the heat. Uh, so far, the runs have been good. Um, I do see that there's an exhaust leak. It could be because the gasket that I'm reusing um, just doesn't fit, fit flush, so I might have to figure out a way to redo that. So there's only two 13 millimeter bolts holding it down, um, so it's easy to unbolt, re readjust. Uh, these are 10 millimeter bolts, and removing these actually almost act as a as if it was straight pipe. I did try the motor with these removed, and I did uh, lose top end horsepower. Uh, which um, I, I believe you need some back pressure on these motors, especially these motors that have high weight or resistance to them, as opposed to a mini bike that might have uh, easier to rev up and get up to speed to the high RPM. These are at times running at 1000 RPM and then need that low end torque. So I, I believe I'm going to keep the factory muffler. Uh, I, I do like the setup where it's away, bolted down right here, away from the exhaust. The exhaust does uh, push towards the grease fitting so the exhaust does exit towards the, the grease fitting but I haven't seen it being too hot to be an issue so you can see how the 90 degree or now it's a horizontal kick out the exhaust the heats on this backside when we're driving the airflow is going through the motor and then exiting and cooling off the muffler or any flow is going out this and all the residual heat coming out back so that's the benefit from it being factory right here and all the heat staying in this area rather than being back so that's what we're testing out seems to be working i like it i'll, I'll keep running it like this uh, the, the exhaust leak is not even noticeable but it is present which is something i'm gonna uh, fix in the later date so you guys tell us your opinions you know does this seem like a good idea um you know i do like the back pressure on the motor uh, I, I do like keeping it stock uh, the the straight pipe, you know, even with the aftermarket ones, they normally the mini bikes kick out this way. I, I don't see anything ideal for this uh, for this motor, at least for a setup that goes straight. Um, but tell us tell us what you guys think. You know, uh, comment. You know, send us messages. We'll you know we want to communicate and and definitely get some feedback and uh, any other additional testing. Uh, there will be another video of some ways we're bulletproofing these, and uh, hopefully that you know you guys like those.